All right, and for the first time in what seems like forever, uh, we are live, and as you guys might be able to tell, uh, the stream is set up a little bit differently today. Um, gone are the days when I feel like I have time to be playing video games and messing around. We might be doing those every now and again, um, every couple of months, well, not every couple of months, every couple of weeks. Um, when I have some free time after exams, but for now, um, I'm just going to catch you up a little bit because originally this channel was supposed to be what is med school really like for a med student, and I've kind of dropped the ball. I apologize for that, and then that's for a couple of reasons. Um, I didn't actually move into this apartment here until last week, so I've kind of been bumping around, um, and getting settled into med school has been an adventure, so I owe you guys um, a couple weeks worth of updates, um, what that's all been like. Um, so I'm going to go through that right now, um, which I'm really looking forward to. It's been a long, long time since I've been online and been able to interact with you guys. Um, so this is this is what this channel was built to be. This is um, my advice to you. The gaming thing was definitely a summer thing, just because you know it was fun. I was able to hang out with my friends, do that. Um, and that's just how it's kind of been for the last couple of, uh, of months, but things are different now. Um, so we got to talk a little bit through medical school. So, uh, obviously first week was orientation for three days. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, something I really liked about orientation at my school was that they really, really stressed, uh, the importance of self-care and self-care is super important when it comes to, um, medical school because you are constantly bombarded with a load of information and you are expected to know it and master it and you know this is not only just know it master it for an exam this is know it master it for the boards this is know it master it for the rest of your life so that you can help patients with that information so it's a lot of stress and um, during orientation there was a lot of uh, emphasis on self-care and looking out for yourself and checking out counseling resources if you need it um, making sure you're looking out for signs of mental illness, and I appreciated that. I mean, this is a very high-stress path to be going down, and there's no shortage of people who really struggle with this, and um, sometimes that struggle becomes very extreme, and it has um, really negative consequences. So um, just seeing that they're looking out for us um, was really nice to see, and then we got right into the thick of it. Uh, we had two intro lectures um, that first week, and then... Uh, we haven't looked back since. Um, I'm in the cadaver lab this first semester. I know that's not the case for all medical students, but um, the way that it's set up at my school, um, I have my scientific foundations of medicine course, um, my anatomy course, a clinical skills course, and an osteopathic course because I am at an osteopathic medical school. And if all goes well, at the end of four years, I will be getting a DO instead of an MD. Um, so it's been a really fun couple of weeks. It's very stressful. Um, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm always studying, I'm always trying to learn something, trying to stay on top of things, keep mastering the material, not fall behind. Um, but it's been fun. I mean, the way I've been describing it to people is it's a lot to handle. Um, but it's one of those things that you really, you love to hate it. And it's just one of those things where, no, studying is not always fun. It's very rarely fun, but, um... Now I'm studying the stuff that is relevant to what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So no, still not fun, um, but it matters to me a lot more um, than some of the classes I had to take for undergrad for gen eds and certain things that didn't really apply to what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So now I'm in the thick of it, and it's, it's great. I mean, it's definitely a lot of material. Um, I don't think that the difficulty has ramped up significantly. There's just a lot more in a shorter period of time. And the expectations are very high. Um, passing is a 70%. Um, there is a GPA calculation at the end, but for the most part, I think people just want to get that 70% and make sure that they graduate in four years, they're not paying extra tuition, they're not pulling out extra loans, and then they end up with a job where they can actually pay off those loans. And I think that's pretty much everyone's priority, uh, is just to get through these four years, pass everything, not have to retake anything, and you know, just get out there and start doing what we came here to do. And that's, you know, really just practicing medicine and um, getting out there and helping people. And I feel like that's why a lot of us are here. There's definitely 
a couple of people that are emerging in my mind as uh, the lead candidates to be the gunners that are going to try to get those really uh, exclusive residencies and uh, the top dollar dermatology or um, I'm trying to think of some other good examples. Dermatology is a big one. The people who want to go into surgery usually tend to be a little more of the sharks in the water. And for me, it's just kind of go with the flow at this point. I'm going to try my best and um, I put a lot of pressure on myself in undergrad and I think it's just going to be a little bit smarter of me to um, not put so much pressure on myself um, to be in the top of the top and it was actually kind of frightening because after the, they told us and um, during orientation after the first exam uh, half of you are going to be in the bottom half of your class and med students aren't used to that it's a tough concept to wrap your head around being in the bottom half of your class when you likely graduated in the top 10 to 5 percent of your uh, high school and your college if you did go to ended up going to medical school so um, it's going to be a new experience. Um, I am going to dial back what I said. These posts are definitely not going to be daily. They're definitely going to be weekly. Um, I don't want to be putting so much time into this channel that um, it's taking away from my studies, but I do want to be here um, to answer questions. So please do comment on this video. Um, when we do them live like this, feel free to talk to me in the chat and I'll answer those questions live as well um, for the benefit of everyone else who um, may see this video at a later time. But also, um, in the comments section, I'll try to stay as caught up with that as possible. If you have specific questions about, you know, what these things are like and what, you know, you're scared about this, you're scared about that, um, have you encountered it yet? And if you have encountered it, what are your thoughts on it? And I'd be happy to give you my opinion on all of those things. Um, I think a really common thing that people worry about is the cadaver lab, because that's a very unique experience and it's very different. and um, I think that they framed it really well um, here at school and they told us that our cadaver is our first patient and that we are to treat that person um, as a patient and um, obviously the respect for um, people giving the most selfless gift that they could is um, you know letting us you know explore their body and learn these things more intimately than um, you know even their closest family would even know. I mean, you're literally dissecting structures in a human being, and that's an incredible gift. Um, so that's something that's definitely different. It takes some getting used to, um, but it's humbling. And I think that there were definitely people that kind of had an unsettled stomach that first day. Um, but once you realize that um, these people donated their body to um, for to further your education. I think that that really puts things into perspective, and uh, people have been doing really well. Um, other than that first day, I think people lock in and get focused pretty quick. Um, but honestly, I mean, med school is a lot. Um, it's definitely different being here. Um, the one piece of advice that I would give you um, as an aspiring med student is don't do what I did. Um, you might want to have a roommate. And the reason I say that is because when I come home um, at the end of the day, uh, after I leave classes, after I'm done studying at the library on campus, I come back here and although having a studio apartment is kind of nice in the sense that I don't have to worry about roommate conflict, um, it's also kind of weird just to not really have that much social interaction with people um, after a certain time of day. So. I would definitely recommend that you find someone in your, um, you know, most schools do like a class Facebook page, an accepted student Facebook page. Try to find someone that you think you could be compatible with. And if it doesn't work out that first year and you, you know, you've made a bunch of other friends, then maybe try to switch roommates. But um, I definitely think that, especially for this first year, misery loves company and it's really beneficial to have like someone to lean on. And I would definitely do things differently if I could go back even just a couple of weeks um, and see if I could find someone who was looking for a roommate last minute. Um, but other than that, if anyone has questions, feel free to post them on the video. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, uh, keep up with what we're doing. But other than that, um, you know, just stick with us, guys. I mean, this is going to be a really cool experience seeing what medical school is really like um, and 
it's it's gonna be different it's gonna be um, challenging it's gonna be really trying on my um, my soul my personality at times and it's gonna put a lot of stress on my life but um, I really want to try to give you guys a realistic look of what school is like um, so that's that's what we're here to do so uh, feel free um, this is live so I don't know where the subscribe button is it might be down here just on the right side or it might be over here I really don't know um, when I post the videos it's a little bit easier because I can edit and move stuff around as I want it uh, but feel free to subscribe to the channel um, keep up with what's going on um, and like I said I'm here as a resource to you guys so feel free to post comments questions concerns all that good stuff uh, I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner um, maybe once every 24 hours or so I'll open up my laptop but another good tip um, if your school gives you technology don't connect your phone to it don't connect texting personal email the only thing I have connected to the iPad that I was given for school is my school email there's no social media apps on there there's no anything no snapchat anything like that and that helps me stay dialed in when I'm studying because if something pops down on my screen um, the only reason it should ever be there is if it's a school related email and anything else is an unwelcome distraction um, you really gotta focus and it's true you gotta take breaks um, and that's the point that you take out your phone where it has all that distraction you take 15 minutes as a break you check your snapchat you check your Facebook notifications check out tweets from the um, and memes from the Mayweather McGregor fight do whatever you gotta do for that 15 minutes and then get back right at it um, right now this is my 15 minute or so break um, from studying this afternoon um, so I mean that's just the way it is you study a lot you know you work hard um, and then after exams are over you know cut loose a little bit and uh, then get right back at it because you got more exams coming up after that so it's just the way things are gonna be um, and I'm gonna try to give as realistic a look into that as possible so anyways thanks guys uh, feel free to give us a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you next time.